What's up guys, it's Ryan, and today I'm back with some more Pokemon Unite, only this time I'm gonna be playing Ranked. Now I've gotta say, I've gotten pretty hooked on this game, and whether or not I continue to make videos on it, I'm gonna be playing it a lot, so let me know in the comments if you wanna keep seeing videos of me playing it. Okay, so over the last few days, I've been playing a little bit of Ranked, and I'm not saying I'm the best, and I'm definitely not the worst, I'm just pretty average. And I'm currently in great class, so I've gone up one class, and now next, I'm gonna be trying to get to expert. The problem here is I'm doing solo queue and what that means is I'm not playing with a group of friends, I'm just playing with a bunch of random people online. And the problem with that is it's very hard to communicate with people online. Uh, you know what, actually, I'm gonna play Lucario this round. I think Lucario fits well into this team. Lucario is an all-rounder. I can kind of do anything. Usually as Lucario, you want to be going bottom path, and Lucario hits really, really hard. All right, so starting out, I usually go with Meteor Mash as my chosen move, and now we're gonna go, and this is called farming. So I'm gonna be knocking out these wild eight palms so I can gain experience and level up and get a stronger Lucario. We can totally take out this Gossip Flare. Nice, nice. Let's score these 19 points. Okay, nice. Okay, I don't want anything to do with this Norlax. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe we can get them. We took him! We took him! Snorlax is usually really hard to kill. Take out this Machop. Took out the Machop. Take out, take out the Bulbasaur. Take out the Bulbasaur. Alright, we're pretty much dominating the bottom lane right now. This is going really well. Alright, we should retreat out of there. So, we don't really want to fight them when they're in their own goal, because while they're in there, they're actively restoring their health, and it usually makes it pretty difficult to take them down, unless it's like a 3v1. Yeah, we, we pushed all the way into their main goal here. They surrendered. Alright. Yeah, that was a, wow, 337 to 15, that was a fantastic game. Yeah, so usually I just kind of wind up as Lucario. I, I like playing Zero Aura. I practice with him a lot in the beginning, but the problem is everybody likes to play Zero Aura, and I usually never can play him. So we are lacking a defender, and they have three defend, they have Snorlax, slow bro and mr mine might be support instead but their team's gonna be really tough to break through but we have a strong offense so we might be able to do it and there's zero aura here okay yeah so zero aura is very strong and he kind of just hangs around in what's in the middle which is also called the jungle and he gets a lot of levels in there and then he can just jump into either top lane or bottom lane and just do a lot of damage and if that happens, it usually ends up being like a 3v1 or 3v2, and we don't really stand a chance in that scenario. Okay, we're back in, and now we have the springboard, so I can use this to super jump right over here. Alright. Um, I definitely helped out a lot there. I don't really know what happened, but my Unite move did something. Zapdos is about to spawn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide here. So when you're in the grass, the tall grass, you can actually hide from enemies. So they just ran past, they have no idea I'm here. And I, as Lucario, I'm gonna try to steal the Zapdos kill. I'm gonna let them do all the work first and wear it down. And then I'm gonna come in with my Unite move and try to steal it. So what's good about Zapdos is when we get him, it doubles all the points, gives our team a whole bunch of energy, and lets us score. Let's see. Nice. Took out the Mr. Mime. Okay, that's good, that's good. Friends. Can't take out Zapdos alone here. All right, we're really struggling. That's not good. We kind of need Zapdos here. And I don't know where my team is. Oh, Zapdos is done. What? What? Oh, if we lost him, that's probably it. I think we lost 284. Oh my gosh, yeah. We, we lost bad. We lost bad. Oh, we've got the Hip Hop Pikachu on our team. We're going to win. 
It's over. They have no chance. They have no style. We have style on our team. I don't know why Zeraora is not going into the jungle. That's a problem. Why is he not juggling? Alright, I guess I'm gonna jungle. Makes no sense. So Zeraora is supposed to be in the jungle. And for some reason, our Zeraora is not in the jungle and wanted to go into my lane instead. So, as an all-rounder, I guess I'm gonna be in the jungle. Okay, I don't know what my team is doing. This isn't a good sign. So, my entire team just went top. And no one's on bottom lane. So now I'm coming back here. Nice. Don't worry, team. I'll do all the work. But now they're coming back. Now they come. All right. We're going to take out this Dreadnought. So what taking out the Dreadnought does, this is one of the objectives of the bottom. Well, the objective of the bottom lane is to take out Dreadnought. And then we get a nice little shield boost. And now, let's see. Mm. Oh, I have 40. Turn in. Ah, oh, no, they disrupted it. Pikachu. Nice, turn in. Okay, okay, big score, big score, big score, big score. Nice. Okay, we're doing great, we're doing great. I'm gonna go over here. Get this big score. 26. Nice. Okay. We're actually, I think we're doing pretty well. Alright, I'm getting greedy. I need to get out of here. I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy. I was too greedy. Oh, I lost all those points. <sighs> so, what I did wrong was I should not have stayed in their territory by myself. But I got a little greedy, and now I blew it. I mean, I didn't blow it. I think we're still doing pretty well. Oh, yeah. No, the Pikachu got me. Okay, okay. Come on, team. It's all right. We can still do it. We can still do it. We took out, I took out, I think, two members of their team. So later in the game, when you take out, when you die or you take someone out, their respawn time is a lot longer. And that can usually turn the tide of the game if you take them out late. I think, yep, yeah, we got Zapdos. All right, now we rush to turn in points. I only have 15. It's not a lot, but we're doing it. I... It's okay. That's fine. I'm pretty sure we win. So when your team gets Zapdos, Zapdos gives you a whole bunch of points that you usually want to just kind of run in and score no matter what the situation is. And I had a little bit. I had about 15, so I gave it a shot. Unfortunately, I was by myself, and I was real deep in their territory. So there was no way I was scoring there. As long as they don't score that 50 points, we're good. We're good. Come on, team. 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 I think we're okay. 437, 199, nice, nice. I was MVP. I had 109 points scored. I had 12 kills, which is a lot. 12 enemies I took down. Yeah, so Macham and Cinderace hit pretty hard. We got a def the defenders. We have a pretty well-rounded team right now. I forgot to mention that I'm gonna go to the jungle, the central area, but I'm sure they know. Zero Aura's job is to go into the jungle, take out those wild Pokemon, gain some levels, and then just start taking everyone out. Hopefully my team knows what to do. They don't know what to do. This person's not supposed to be here. So the problem with that is when my teammates come in here and steal my necessary kills, it takes longer for me to gain the levels that I need. And then our team ends up behind. So hopefully they don't keep doing that. See, this guy's also in the jungle. All right, our team is not playing correctly. This is not good. There's a high chance we're going to lose this game. I need to just sit here until I get to about level eight or nine. And then I can jump into those lanes and help out my team. But my team doesn't seem to want to help me. They seem to want to help themselves here. They're pushing on the bottom lane, so I'm gonna need my backup, but I don't want to afford to lose this 30. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Not good. Ooh. Ah. That was not good. And Ninetales. Ninetales is really annoying. Ninetales freezes you, you move slower. It's a nightmare. I'm 
gonna ult that man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Zero Aura is so strong. Big 34. Big 34. Boom. It's time to just get a zap. Um, well, I don't want to pressure zap this actually. Let's take them out. Score. We're all just dunking on him now. Yeah, I think we won by a lot. Let's see, I guess we could just hang out here now. 774. Yeah, that was a good game. That was a good game. 15 kills though that time. 15 kills. 141 points and 15 kills. Crazy. I do pretty well with Zera Aura, but the problem is just that everyone just takes Zera Aura, even if they don't play him well. He's just kind of like the noob favorite, it seems, so I never really get to use him, and I just go to Lucario instead, but I'm really good with him. I feel like I play the role really well. I could Zera Aura here. Realistically, I could. But Talonflame's gonna go to jungle, so you know what? I'll, I'll Lucario this one. Alright, let's do it, team. Let's do it. Meteor Mash. Oh, hello. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, okay. Um, I need some backup. Good, not good, not good, not good. Ugh. Yeah, three V1s, three V2s. Not really ideal. I thought maybe we can do it, but no. Uh, I'm gonna die. 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 No! Ah! Ah, I was so close. We can do it. We can do it. We just need to take Zapdos. I gotta hold it down. Hold it down. What? How did he score? How did he score? Time's up. You lose. Oh, we lost by one point. One point. Oh my god. Ugh. Uh. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for this one. As you can see, solo queue is pretty hard when I'm not able to communicate with my team on on what's happening and what's going on, and it just becomes super difficult. And I wasn't able to really play my preferred character too much. So I'm going to keep trying to do my best and get out of great tier and keep moving up through the ranks. And if you want to keep seeing me try and fail and try and get better and fail all the way back down the ladder, then like this video and comment down below and let me know if you want to see more. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. And that's about it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.